Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to be showing you a day in my life as an RU intern. But first, when I wake up in the morning while I'm still in bed, I tell myself, what am I going to do today? Oh, brush my teeth, pack my stuff, walk out of my door, make sure it's closed, walk to the elevator and rush to the first floor where this person, who I sadly call my best friend, waits for me. On days that I don't eat breakfast, I usually get something to drink. Let's go to our track, find our metra, and get ready for a long train ride. Alright guys, so this is me putting on mascara. And it's in the color darkest dark black. The brush is really good. Finally, we have arrived at Brayside and we'll be at the gardens in 30 minutes. Today will mainly consist of working on our posters. And by working, I mean sometimes. Hello? Hello? By now you may be asking yourself, Poster, what have you been doing all summer? Please, Jackie, tell me all about your exciting internship. Well, I've worked in this lab this whole summer. Doing, you know, mature stuff. <laughs> Only science things. Anyway, as I was saying, in my project, I'll be looking at the genetic diversity of jackfruit, one of the largest fruits in the whole world. This fruit can grow up to 100 pounds. If you love bananas, mangoes, and pineapples, then you have to try jackfruit. I had to extract DNA of over 100 samples of jackfruit, grind them down, put in some chemicals, spin them down in the centrifuge, note a separation of DNA, take out everything but the pellet, and then test concentration of DNA, wash that lid, dry off that lid, put the lid on this PCR, make sure to bounce the centrifuge or else. Did you guys hear that? I'm scared. Did you guys hear that? I'm scared. Obviously we don't like that sound, so we're going to balance that PCR or else someone will get mad at us. Then we take this PCR out, get to the PCR machine, where it will replicate and amplify the non-coding regions that we want. Now we press start. So for this part of the video, I'm going to do a really quick ASMR for you guys. Now we tape up our PCR plate and put it in the fridge. Make sure that fridge is closed or else a certain someone else will get mad at you. Now we are ready to set up a Beckman, but quick! We only have 15 minutes to set up everything and put it on the Beckman itself. And now we're done, or are we? Two months later, now I have all of this data to assess genetic diversity. Like any other day, we decided to hang out after work, but today is a special day. It's not for the child, it's my wife. <laughs> today we're gonna go visit Kylo, who recently had just hurt her leg in an accident. Now that we're on the topic of friends, let me take a moment to tell you about how much I really love everybody in this program. From all our dumb moments, to all the movie nights, to having fun traveling around the city, uh -huh. To all the good food we've eaten, and the concerts, and the game nights. Who is the best Instagram queen? Queen. <laughs> and of course the dancing. I'm forever grateful to have met every single one of you guys. But this isn't the first year the gardens has allowed me to meet such wonderful people. Let's go back to 2015. Hey, Paula. What are those? Hey, hey, Paola. What are those? I started here at the gardens in a program called Science First when I was 15 years old. I met great people, had amazing bus rides. Just another average day in the bus one. <laughs> You're an idiot. Had unforgettable mentors. Gained so much experience working in a lab and being able to present my findings. Experience I wouldn't have gotten anywhere else as a high schooler. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Honestly, I'll never forget all the summers I spent here at the gardens. Through this program, I was able to build connections, visit numerous colleges, and volunteer at multiple places. And of course, having that chance to be myself. As you can see, the gardens have such a special place in my heart. So I wanted to take this opportunity to thank the gardens for having me here every year. To all the mentors I've had, I seriously look up to all of you guys and all the friends that I have made along the way. It wouldn't be the same without all of you. And